What up, yo, it's your boy, this is Galvin, I'm coming at you guys the next episode of My Life Story, episode 31. Yo, if you haven't, make sure you check the recap, if you don't know what the hell is going on, and you're kind of seeing this for the first time, check the recap episode where we talk about, where we talk about what happened in the first 30 episodes, and kind of go from there. So that's what you guys can do, if you want to know what's going on, or if you want to catch up, right? So let's get into it. As you guys know, as I just told you, I just met this girl named Shadi. Shadi's cool and everything, everything's cool with that. Um, I meet Shadi and everything's chill. But I, at the time I met Shadi, I just got over the breakup with Mia. So what's going on now is that I'm kind of in a mode where I'm just like, Ugh. I'm in like that mode. You ever, you ever, you ever break up with somebody and it was your fucking fault, and you kind of sit there in that salty ass like stagnant mode where you're just like, yo, like I could date somebody else, but I don't want to. Like yeah, that's kind of what happened to me on. <laughs> Had a sneeze. Oh, my allergies whooped my ass. Ugh. All right. Whew. You know that mode, that salty ass mode where where you, you, you want to move forward, but you kind of let, don't let yourself. That's where I was at. Going through all that, I decided to leave. I decided I wanted to go to Virginia. <sighs> I'm dying out here for y'all. Whew. All right, all right, all right, all right. Look, look. I decided I'm going to Virginia. Oh my God, I'm going to sneeze again. All right, so I decided I'm going to go to Virginia because I want to spend time around my mom, my family, because I haven't been around them that long. And I kind of just looked at it like, you know what? That's what I want to do. So I, I meet Shadi, like I said, I told you on the last, the last episode, but I left. She was on her, she, so this guy that she was talking to, kind of. Let's skip ahead. I leave. This is around the time that Tekken 5 DR came out. No, 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 wait. Yeah. Do y'all remember when Tekken 5 DR came out for, like, PSP or something like that? This is around that time, because I was playing that shit heavy. So, I went to Virginia, and I was with my mother and her husband, Steve. And boy, oh boy, wait, well, I, the stories I have of this nigga, but we'll get to that nigga later. Um, I move in with them. Again, I go back home, because I want to be around my mom and shit. I go back home, I'm pretty much hanging out with my mom, I'm having a good time, Sh uh, Shadi goes and she's at her friend's house, who's this guy that I know, and a guy that she used to kind of talk to, but essentially she's over at his house chilling, they're not really like messing with each other like that, and um, she sees me on his MySpace or Facebook, asks who's that, blah blah blah, ends up getting my aim somehow, I don't, yeah, she ends up getting my aim somehow, I don't remember how exactly that happened, but I did get her aim. So what ended up happening is, she hit me up one day, or I hit her up. Damn, yo, I hate when I don't remember something like that. That's a pretty crucial thing. I don't remember if it was me or her. Um, I would assume, I think it might have been, I think she hit me up because I didn't get, I didn't have no way, I was not in the area, so I had no way to actually give her my shit personally, so she hit me up. Anyway, she hits me up, and this is right around about a month before the Puerto Rican Day Parade in New York. So we're talking... And, you know, the cool thing was, there was something about her I just liked. I, I didn't know what it was, essentially. I found out later, but I didn't know what it was. There's just, you ever meet somebody, and there's just something about them that you like, but it's not necessarily something like, it doesn't necessarily have to be physical, but it's more along the lines of they have something, or they act a certain way, or there's a certain kind of chemistry between the two. That's what it was like. There was a certain type of chemistry between me and her that I really liked. I, I, maybe she, I don't know what it was. It, it's, I don't know. Like, best friend material. That type of shit. You know when you meet a chick and you're just like, yo, this could be a homie right here. That's kind of what it was like. But I, I found her attractive and whatnot. Um, so anyway. Um, I'm just looking at this guy. It's looking kind of strange up here. So anyway. With that said, I'm like, all right, it's all good. Let me go talk to her. So I'm talking to her. She's still kind of talking to my friend that she's seen um, the thing, you know, that she was uh, seeing my thing on. And she's asking me questions. We're talking. Eventually one day, right before the, we, we talked for a month. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Like, you know, everything's good. We talked for about a month. And then right at the end, like right towards, right before the Puerto Rican Day Parade happened, she got into a conversation with me about, like, this guy she's talking to. You know how girls do that. They'll, they'll like, bring up, uh, like, a, a certain type of relationship I issue with you, even though, like, you're not dealing with them, but they may like you, but they're going to bring up an issue with their relationship type of thing. That happened. Um... And she, you know, she asked me, like, what she should do. Um, you know, I forgot exactly what it was, but I think he he was just being a douche. He just wasn't, like, repping her. Or he just wasn't, he just wasn't committing all the way. You know how girls, y'all know, I know a lot of you guys know how when chicks, like, 
get to that point where they want to date you or they want to be with you, but you're on some like next level shit. You're like, oh no, like I don't, I'm not, I don't know if I'm ready. There's too many other girls out here, but you kind of keep them on the side. You may still smash, but you're not actually dating them like that. This squirrel's wilding out. But yeah, like um, it, it, that's kind of what it was like. I told her straight up. I was like, yo. I'm like, don't give up on the situation. If you put this much time and effort into it, don't give up on it. Like, keep working at it because, you know, it can really, it could turn into something. I don't, I don't ever, I, I hate more than anything giving a woman negative advice. I, it automatically, it, it makes me feel like a hater. Like, and um, I can't do that. Even if I don't, even if I don't agree, I just really won't kind of give that negative advice. Like, yeah, fuck them, leave them. Like, it just makes me seem like I'm a hater and I don't like that. I don't think any dude should do that, but dudes do that because that's how most dudes get with other girls. My man and me are having problems, and then they be like, "Oh, fuck that nigga!" You know, y'all know how that works, and then, you know, you end up like, you know, you end up snatching them up like that. I don't like that method. So I told her straight up, like, "Yo, make it work. Do what you gotta do." Blah 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 blah. We got mad close because of that. I guess because she trusted me because of that. Because I wasn't like on some oh, don't mess with him. But y'all gotta keep in mind, I'm in Virginia. I'm nowhere near you. Long story short, let's skip ahead a little bit. We keep talking. We keep talking. Eventually, she decides to stop talking to him on her own, not because of me at all. When that happened, nothing between me and her really changed. It was still kind of like what it was. I still was talking to her on a daily basis, having a lot of fun talking to her. I had a lot of fun talking to her on AIM, just to the fact that she was like kind of like a pen pal, and I was just kind of in Virginia chilling, but she was like my, one of my few connections to New York, so I really enjoyed that a lot. Like, it, it, it was nice, because I just was like, yo, I'm actually talking to somebody new, and, and, and you know, and, and her being more mature, the thing about Shadi was, she was more mature. She was already, like, she'd been weathered with life. She went through a lot of things in her life, so me and her could already wait. I honestly believe that people that understand other people's pain, I mean, I know a lot of y'all watching Naruto and anime, and you can kind of, that may sound familiar, but I felt like this before I even seen that. Essentially, if someone can understand your pain and what you've been through, then you guys got a good understanding of each other. So if you've been homeless and somebody, you dealt with a girl that's lived in those minimal situations, you probably relate. If you were raised in the hood and you date another girl that was kind of raised in the hood, you would understand each other. It's like if one girl was raised in Beverly Hills and your ass is raised in the slums of L.A., it's a completely different. Y'all may be able to work, but it's not going to be the same kind of relation with when it comes to most things. And that's what I'm talking about. Now, here's where shit just started getting interesting. I tell Ziss, which y'all know is my brother. I tell him, I'm like, yo, like, um, see the garbage truck back there? I'm like, yo, um, I want to go to Florida. Now, for the longest time, I felt like the girl I've been looking for for this whole time has been in Florida. I've just been having this feeling. I've, I've been saying, this, God damn, don't you hate that fucking noise? Let me go down here. All right. So I kept telling him, like, the girl I think I'm, I want to meet is in Florida. That beeping sound's not going away, is it? Nah, it's not. All right. We're just trying to push through this, all right? So, um... Girl, I felt like I, I needed to meet was in Florida, but I'm in Virginia. So what I told this is, hey, let's set up something so I can come to New York. I can scoop you. Uh, I told him I was going to come to New York for two days. I'm going to bring two days of clothes. I'm going to come to New York for two days. I'm going to scoop you, and then I'm going to go and um, we're going to go to we're going to go to uh, Florida. Now, mind y'all, y'all know what I've been through. Y'all know I'm like this shit I've gone through so far because y'all been riding with me in these episodes, so y'all already know. So let's just keep this in mind, right? I tell him I'm going to come in Florida, New York soon in two days. Now, I also tell Shadi that, too. I let her know. I'm like, yo, like, we've been talking for a while. I'm going to be in New York for a couple days. I want to see you because I haven't really seen her since I left. She's cool with it. So, pretty much, let me let me get on some other things. That's what happened with Shadi in, during the time of me being in Virginia is that. So, keep in mind. Keep in mind now. That's what happened with just her. We're going to get back and go on some other things. Um, like what happened with Steve and what happened with my mom and things like that. But as far as Shadi is concerned, what me and her did was pretty much talk, build a relationship, and, you know, just kind of chill. Like, we weren't really, like, on some next level shit, but I did tell her I'm going to come up there. I made a plan with Zis to come up there for two days and get him and go to Florida. That was the plan. So we can start, like, start our shit because his mom lives in Florida. We we're going to go there and, you know, take care of that. And that's what we're going to do. Next episode, right? We're going to get into what happened with Steve and, and, and what happened with my mom. And I'm, not, I'm sure some of you remember a little bit about Steve, if y'all remember the video. So we're going to get back into that. And we're also going to talk about a couple other things that happened when I was there, too. I've met, I've met a few people that were coming to play later. So my little trip to Virginia for about four months is definitely worth something. But when we come back, next episode, we're going to talk about me going back to New York and what happened when I came here for two days. It's, 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 it's interesting. 
So once again, it's your boy Aces Galvin. I just hit the 10 minute mark with this. Um, stay tuned. Like I said, I'm gonna be bringing these a lot more often. I'm gonna get through this because I need, I need you guys. I need you guys to to understand. I need to get to now. I need to get to right now. So we need to get we need to get through this shit so I can get to now. Cause yeah. It's your boy Aces Galvin. I'm out. Um, oh, any of you guys got Destiny? Add me on PSN. Aces underscore AKA underscore talent PSN. We can play some Destiny because I'm going to be on that today or whenever day y'all see this because y'all know what it is. It's your boy Aces. I'm out.